Right on time. Yeah. Nick, you got a record deal? You're like fucking famous now, man. Now, it's ha. official. As soon as I sign, they're like, here's the keys, fame. <laughs> We went with a major label, which uh, a lot of people, you know, obviously have kind of bad connotations, and I started like that. Um, we picked the team that, like, had humans that felt like they gave a shit. Like, yeah. They're not just, like, suits. There's, not, there's a lot of understanding. There's a lot of teamwork. Um, I feel lucky. Yeah, we just wanted to find a place that felt like they didn't want to change us very much. And now it's publishers. What does the publisher do? So the label works your... Um, physical recorded catalog. Uh -huh. Publishers are buy into what your written word is. So like, you know, say someone wants to cover Never Learn to Dance. Yeah. Like, or uh, Gossip Girl, like getting your money into movies and TV, sync, uh -huh. synchronizing your music along with works. Get you on so, the OC. Yeah, This exactly. is insane. Yeah. That's a really dated reference, bud. <laughs> but that OC was huge. <laughs> OC was huge for like making little indie bands pop That's off, true. you know? I mean, is the future kind of a little bit more mapped out now with a label? Yeah, well, we made an album in May in Seattle. So it's like we just did that single with X Ambassadors, but that's like done really well. It charted it's on great. the Billboard yeah. alternative charts today. So on my amazing. little Nikki's first Billboard chart. Congrats. Um, which is pretty silly. I don't, I've never paid attention to those things, and I feel like they have like little niche charts for everyone so they can... <laughs> Your record label like, is signing it a relief? No, it's, it's a huge relief, yeah. but now begins the work, right? Like, now begins the partnership. You know, while I was in McCarthy with my phone off for four days, I came back and there was like, I was getting texts from the label guy being like, hey, we need to kind of like make a plan about what we're gonna shoot when we get there. So like, there's a lot of really good things that come with it, but there's definitely a bit of um, an expectation that I am ready to work, right? It's a job. Yeah. It's a job. I'm working. Like, well, it's funny because the first time we met about this, you were literally finishing shoveling roofs. I yeah, that was like six months ago. Yeah. I was just like, was oh, like I can make a couple hundred bucks shoveling yeah. roofs. Who is the most famous person? I mean, in doing this whole thing. Opening for Louis Capaldi was incredible. I mean, he's as famous as, as it gets for me. Like, the fact that we just got to hang out for two weeks. No, last week, I got to meet my favorite songwriter, Lori McKenna. She's a, it's like a country songwriter. She is a legend. And we literally just like FaceTime for like an hour and a half. And she was just like giving me advice and asking me questions. And I was like, I could die today. So you're on tour, that's awesome, right? That's amazing. Did you come across some like real bad hangs where you just have to like gut it out for a, a solid 45 or whatever? Kind of yes. like this right now. Yeah, yeah, it's something very similar to this. <laughs> Like some nights you have to be out there, like you're loading off stage and kids are like, hey, 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 like talk, interact. Um, sometimes you're stuck in cars with people yeah. and they get on a two hour call to change their 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 bank pin and, the, and then they just leave it on speakerphone in the car and you're the roads, the road, I love it, man. I love waking up in new places. I love driving. I love stopping for the little mom and pop you know, breakfast spot, I love gas station t-shirts. Why I love all the things of it. I love playing shows. I hate looking for parking. I hate loading into a hotel room. Oh, yeah. Five people carrying their gear in and, and we're all sleeping on the floor. Is it kind yeah. of a bummer that like, if you're traveling, it's for tour or promotional shit or whatever, and then you come home, and that's not like a relaxation either. Everyone here knows you and you gotta be on, you gotta be Nick, you gotta be me. I think Alaska has all of the recipes to be my absolutely perfect retreat. Yeah. I haven't used it as that as of late because I've been using it as like the jumping off point, right? Like this has been the summer where I'm really trying to be like, honor Alaska and say, hey, I'm not going to forget you guys. I love you guys. Here, I also want to bring as many Alaskans down there with me as I can. Yeah. Um, that's huge. Like bringing Ashley Young on our last leg of tour. You know, I want to get Ed and Bethlehem and Sundog. And Alaska did so much of this, you know? Like, obviously, I came and wrote the songs, but like, Alaska, like, stand hard. Alaska flies down when I play other states. Coming up here has just been, it's been better than anything. Was there any single show you did on your tour where there weren't Alaskans? No. 
No, they're everywhere. Alaskans will show up every night, That's announce it. their presence, be the drunkest, be the loudest. I was playing this church in Portland. Everyone was seated. It was like yeah. this old, old style church and it was like kind of cool. Yeah. Like Ashley played first and everyone was seated. It was beautiful. You could hear her without even a microphone. And we get up and we start playing the first tune and everyone's seated. And then I look over and there's like a couple of Alaskans on the far left. Like they stood up. We're like, we're halfway into misery. <laughs> And they stand up and they go, everybody, stand up! <laughs> they start directing everyone. Like, I'm playing <laughs> at the show people bought tickets for, and these like three Alaskans are like, mm-mm, this is not no. how it's gonna go. We're gonna tell them how it's gonna go.